What's up guys, Mike here. Welcome to Control. Now I know this game isn't quite relevant anymore, but it's still um still looks like a cool game, so let's play it. Warning. This is gonna be weirder than usual. Can't be helped. You called me. So here I am. I know I shut you out sometimes. I'm always glad to hear from you. It's just that I get my hopes up. So many times it's led to nothing. I found nothing. It's like we live in a room and there's a poster on the wall. Uh, we stare control. at it and we think that's the whole world. The room and the poster. The picture is something nice. A landscape, a famous person. Like in that movie, uh, what is it called? The prison movie. The room's a cell and the picture, it's different for each of us it can be beautiful or terrible but we're all transfixed but it's all a lie something to distract us from the truth they're lying to us we're lying to ourselves the room's not the world the world is much bigger and much stranger there's a hole hidden behind that poster that leads to the real world. We all feel safe in that room. But sometimes, sometimes something crawls out from behind the poster. And the ones that see it happen freak out and try to forget what they saw. Great graphics. I'm here. Why did you bring me here? To the Bureau of Control? I do not know. Hello? Anyone here? Busy to move. Nobody there. What's the F? Hey, I surrender. That just opened. What did I say? Both internal lo lockdown effect, blue lockdown effect, multiple attack breaches detected, more shifts uh, detected, and research override HRA protocol activated. So something went wrong. Something went very, very wrong. There's a lockdown effect. Wait, if it's a lockdown, how do I even get in here? Federal Bureau of Control. All these years, I've been looking for them, and they were hiding in plain sight. Can I get in here? No. Oh, over here. No. this security order all right blah, blah, blah. security order a shark in his auto secure permission to publish program shoot to kill good luck okay so something definitely went wrong Excuse me. There you are. You are here about the job. Janitor's assistant. You need to go to the interview. Go that way to the elevator. Thanks. 
Elevator that way. Got it. Very good. I'm a janitor, by the way. You'll work for me. You can say I sent you. That's creepy. If they don't hire you, later, you're a it. There be work for the axe. Take them behind the sauna, you hot. I've done enough night shift loner jobs to know it makes us come off weird. Auntie the janitor is a friendly face in my book. Better than somebody with no face at all. <laughs> Think about it. Proceed to the face. deeper... The proceed deeper into the bureau. We're going to do all the sounds. Not this one's gonna build there. The cell and the poster. I was 11 years old the first time I saw behind the poster. They told me I imagined it. I've been trying to pull it down ever since. Will you help? Sign Courtney Hope. The producer you have in, you know, Pike Budget that Jane Pollockin, Stuart McDonald, Sean Darling, Paul, whoever. Stop reading these. Freaky. Very freaky. Control. Did I lose you there for a moment? You know what's on my mind. My baby brother, Dylan. Seventeen years since the men of this bureau took him. Director's office. What's over here? Can you get in there? What's in here? Still no lockdown. Ooh, where are you? Approved terminology, terminology reminder. I'm just click these things, it's hard to read them. Anyway, there we go. <gasps> Investigate the noise in the director's office. Shit. Yep, he's dead. Number weapon, a suicide weapon. The board, we are progress through the pyramid from mother. Only that the director can wield. Gun short, intentionally left blank. The application will be processed. That's the poster. Objects of power can cause or be results of AWE's altered world events, intrusions upon the perceived reality. Now, the service weapon is, of course, a prime example of an OOP, a very powerful one, ingrained in the Bureau's DNA, a key component in our prime candidate program. Come out of that Russian roulette a winner and you, <laughs> you're it. When a director combined the service weapon and live slash die is your ritual slash challenge. You must choose to be the chosen one. Oh, look at this place. Where are we? Where am I? Just said that. Probably board instructions to an astro plane challenge. That's close. Okay, v is melee as we have fun for me. Ooh, it's you. The same gun. 
the controller gun slash animals. Service weapon journey is automatically even not in use. Okay. That's actually really cool so far. What's this? You slash you have the gun slash you. The board appoints you. Congratulations, director. spoke to me and it was just noise and I understood every word and this gun's alive you know what I'm happy happy to be here see her into the bureau things are quieted down outside is it safe to go I take that as a no Under the sky, are they dead? Probably. The hissing sound that tried to invade me earlier. The hiss, burrowing into everything in this oh place. God. Is the hiss Great. your enemy? All right, it's our enemy. That babble 
feels contagious. It burrows in like an Hello. Yep, I'm dead. Alright, let's not leave our Jenkins this. And I can do this more methodically. Yes. Burrowing into everything in this place. Is the history of me? Alright, it's our enemy. I right, see so we can take down some. Let's put it. I can't see anything. Oh well. Okay. Okay, he's dead. He's dead again. We got these guys. you how happy I am to talk to somebody sane. The feeling's mutual. Yeah, I'm Pope, Emily Pope, Dr. Darling's assistant. My turn. Should I lie? Jesse Faden. I'm just visiting. I should have lied. Oh shit. You're the new director. Hold on. We're coming out. New director. Director. Faden. Call me Jesse. Okay, Jesse. I'm Emily. Look, somehow this hostile force, this hiss, that works? Somehow the hiss managed to infiltrate the building without any warning. And just like that, my name for it is official. The hiss. Like the sound of poison gas leaking in. We're in full lockdown. It seems to have spread everywhere and to everyone, not protected by an HRA. And, extraordinarily, you. You are the director, and that makes you special by definition. Trench is no longer the director, obviously. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. This whole situation is just a lot. Trench is dead. Shot. Ah. I found his body. And the gun. Do I tell her it looked like a suicide? The service weapon. Also, and this can sound crazy, but he keeps appearing to me, saying things. It's hard to make out, but he told me to cleanse the control point, push the hiss out. The whole room shifted around. You did that? And you entered the building when it was already in the lockdown before you became the new director? How? I'm not ready to tell her about you yet. 
A janitor let me in. <laughs> I love it. I, this is fucking unbelievable. It's... I can't even... Ugh, look, Jesse, I have a million questions, and you probably have a million more. Like, do you know my brother Dylan? <sighs> Not yet. But there's something I need to ask you to do first. If you can cleanse a control point, then you can maybe cure those infected or possessed by the hiss. Because if that's possible, our options are very different. Emily Pope. I don't know her, but I like her already. She's the opposite of the faceless agency I've blamed for what happened to me for so long. But I can't trust her yet. Or rather, the bureau she's a part of. Yes. I can try. I'm speaking for you, of course. We can try it together. Okay. You with me? We did it before. Push the hiss out. Okay, so we're going to today's episode for here. Uh, if you like this video and want to see more, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the